Get, um, I want to get a hostess pie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome. <laughs> I started laughing at the start of each one of these. Welcome to uh, episode 10 of Soup Eater's Soup in a Song. I'm Sue. I'm Peter, and together Here we that are night, Soup, Soup Eater. Eater. And uh, today, based on a song that I wrote a long time ago, uh, Marriage of Convenience, we decided to have our soup at a convenience store. So we went to uh, Cumberland Farms, if you can read that. And uh, it turned out they have uh, broccoli and cheddar soup. And they heated it up for us in the microwave. They said it's very hot, so we we'll have to be careful. But we have to share. We, we're going to share. Oh, and it's Valentine's week. It's Valentine's Day. Yesterday was, Wednesday was Valentine's Day? Yeah, it's Valentine's, Wednesday. it's Valentine's week. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> right, so uh, we're going to share one thing. We're, we're going to buy two separate kinds of soup. They also have a, um, here, you can look at the uh, packaging here. Um, it's kind of hard to read in the sun, but it's broccoli cheddar soup. And we looked up reviews online and many people said people great things like the, about the yeah. broccoli cheddar soup. Yeah. Don't spill it. Yeah. It's not that hot. But <laughs> Is it good? It's, it's good. It's just not very hot. It's warm. Yeah. It's good. Okay. It's good. Yeah, it's good. A little salty. Yeah. This, this whole container is 410 calories, so. but it is, it is really good, actually. Well, I'm glad we got only one. We yeah. were going to get two. I we were going to get two. two. Yeah, we were going to two. I think in this case, you need a big spoon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These are tiny little spoons. No, we're not going to eat the 
whole thing. Yeah, we're not going to eat the whole thing anywhere, but we are going to. While you're eating, why don't I tell them the story of the song? Sure. So, <clears throat> the song we're going to do is uh, called A Marriage of Convenience. And in the town that I, um, where I've, I've been living for the last almost 40 years, there was a little Cumberland Farms convenience store down the street from us. And I used to walk down there to get milk and ice cream and stuff like that. It was a really tiny place. And uh, now it's now it's kind of a it's kind of an eyesore in town because they haven't knocked it down or you know closed it. They've closed it up. But <clears throat> um, anyway, when I'd go down there, there was always this young couple working there. Um, they would have uh, he would be working there, but his girlfriend was always there dressed up like it was a date. So they were a lovey-dovey couple, keeping each other company. And uh, sometimes she'd be reading magazines. One time I saw her reading the Cosmo magazine, which shows up in the song, but she was actually rubbing the perfume pages on her on her arm, I guess, to hopefully to woo cheap her. way to get perfume. <laughs> to uh, woo her uh, her uh, young boyfriend. Where was she rubbing? The... On her arm. Oh, her arm. <laughs> <laughs> this is a family. <laughs> <laughs> I'm safer when you're eating. Uh, and uh, so I, being a songwriter, I gave him names and and created a life for him. So. Have some more soup. Let me have one more bite of soup, then we can sing. Yeah, it's funny because broccoli cheddar soup was one that we were thinking of. I of was making, thinking of making. Yeah. We haven't we, done broccoli cheddar. We had a bunch of broccoli for a while too. But we ended up using for other things. Yeah. Want any more? No. <laughs> I'll take my spoon out. Alright. And we'll have more of this <coughs> when we get home. Want me to take that? Okay. So we're gonna sing this in the car. <laughs> yes. Ooh. I don't think they can see her. Yeah, actually, actually. in tune a lot. Yeah. And I, um, I've mentioned this before, but this is uh, a tenor ukulele, but it's strung like a baritone and with a high D string. <coughs> There's some broccoli in my throat. <laughs> so when I get to the hostess pie, you can... <laughs> Well, Billy worked on Main Street at the little store. He just bought a little truck. It was a four by four. <coughs> Monday, <laughs> Monday on his day off, he was driving down the street. He was getting hungry for something good to eat. For lunch, he bought a Slurpee. He bought a hostess pie. Then he started working, and it was love at first sight. Heather was a pretty gal. She was tall, she was slim. He smiled at her, she smiled at him. He smiled right back again. It's a marriage of convenience. It's a marriage made in heaven. Billy works at the Cumberland Farms and head to the 7-Eleven. Well, Billy bought a hostess pie almost every day. <laughs> Four or five weeks later, he asked her on a date. They said they might get married. They never reached second base. But Heather always kept some condoms. Just in case they kept each other company most days of the week. Billy kept an eye on Heather, and she kept Billy on a short leash. Then one night at Billy's store, while he was stocking shelves, Heather was off in the corner reading Cosmo to herself. It's a marriage of convenience. It's a marriage meeting. Billy works at 
the Cumberland Farms and Heather at the 7-Eleven. Well, a big old rusty car pulled up. It had one headlight out. A guy came in, he walked around. He was checking Heather out. He walked up to Billy and he pulled out a gun. Well, Heather knocked him out with a frozen burrito in a sack of hot dog buns. They vowed right then and there they'd never be apart. They had their wedding party in the 7-Eleven parking lot. All the guests had Slurpees, we all had hostess pies. And one and all, we offer this toast to the groom and his new bride. It's a marriage of convenience, a marriage made in heaven. Billy works at the Cumberland Farms and Heather at the 7 Eleven. Well, Billy and Heather. Run a little store. Heather had that burrito bronzed. It's hanging by the door. If you stop in to see them, tell them pizza at high. And pick up a gallon of milk and a hostess pie. It's a marriage of convenience. A marriage made in heaven. Billy works at the Cumberland Farms and Heather at the 7-Eleven. It's a marriage of convenience. It's a marriage made in heaven. Billy works at the Cumberland Farms and Heather at the 7-Eleven. Thank you very much. Can we eat the horse's pie now? Oh, don't you want to, we could eat that up at home. Oh, okay. we, that's yeah. right. Well, we could, we could eat it, just eat I'm it. <laughs> just sit, trying to think of something funny to say. <laughs> All right, so we can go home and finish our Off soup. Off we go. street at the little store he just bought a little truck it was a four by four Monday on his day off he was driving down the street he was getting kind of hungry for something good to eat for lunch he bought a slurpee he bought a hostess pie then he saw her working on there was love at her side. Heather was a pretty gal, she was tall and she was slim. He smiled at her, she smiled at him. Smiled oh, top. At him. Yeah. All right. Ooh, ooh, it's hot. So here we are, we're back home. We just heated up the rest of our broccoli cheddar soup that we got from Cumberland Farms. Cumberland Farms. We still have the napkins, and we're going to share the hostess pie. Yes. It's been a busy week. We had a snowstorm on Tuesday. Wednesday was Valentine's Day. Tomorrow's my birthday. Yes. Saturday, the 17th, is Peter's birthday. And we haven't decided where we're going yet. Uh, no, maybe Indian food. Sufanda. Yeah. There's. We're gonna we're gonna look for reviews of Indian Indian restaurants. I just haven't had Indian food in a while. The soup's a lot hotter now. <laughs> it's too hot. It's good though. I still would like to make some. Um, Broccoli cheddar soup. So here's the hostess pie. This is an apple one. This was from, uh, we're doing a, a YouTube unboxing here. Yes. 
I've always wanted to do a YouTube unboxing. They remind me of the McDonald's. I don't know. I don't go to McDonald's anymore. But yeah. I think at one time McDonald's had these kind of pies. I'm going to just heat it up briefly. See the pie. <clears throat> We've been practicing for a couple of gigs that we have coming up. Yes. I slice it in half. I want to get out the ruler. Do you remember that when you were kids? Yeah. Do you ever have to do that? No, what we did was was my dad would say, um, okay, the youngest the youngest cuts, the oldest chooses. Uh, <laughs> that was our that was our rule. That is hot. No, no, it's hot. No soup is really hot. So I have a collection of wooden hearts I made from two by four scraps. I have no clue what to do with them. And there's more. There's two, four, six. There's eight more over there. So. Well, you, you would label the one that you gave me. I gave Peter this last. Last Valentine's was Day. Was it just last? Yeah. That was my Valentine's Day card. Can I change the date to 24? Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> it was interesting singing in the car. <laughs> that was fun. I thought, I, thought, I thought somebody would come up to us and say, hey, what are you doing in there? And it was busy. Yeah, it was lunchtime. Yeah. These aren't bad. They do remind me of the McDonald's ones. Mm -hmm. I've had the blueberry one too. And I've made, these are called hand pies. Mm -hmm. you know, it was one year. You did oh, make those. Yeah, I made, yeah. I made some hand pies. Blueberry. You could make them again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was one year that we went to a. Uh, um, it's a really good restaurant. Do you remember the name? I don't remember the name. No, of it. it was Manchester, it Manchester South Manchester, Windsor Line. Yeah, Connecticut. And uh, we told them it was my birthday, and they came out. They put this huge hat on my head and sang a song to me. Well, I don't know what we have in store for next week. It'll be fun. We have no frozen soups in the refrigerator, yeah, in the freezer those, now. We used to have a bunch of, we used to have piles of... Yeah, we had like eight containers of eight soup. Eight containers of different kinds of soup. We've been, we've been using them. Yeah, we use them as, yeah. as extra. Yeah, just like a little bit of soup. Thank you for tuning in. And again, uh, and the cat's you. at the door again. The cat's always uh, coming in, coming out. I'll get him. <laughs> the dog's gonna greet him. Yeah. Here he is. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> 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 thanks for uh, thanks for listening to us. Be sure to like the video and tell your friends to subscribe, because I know you're subscribed. Oh, of course. Of course. All right, thanks a lot. Yeah. Bye. See you next week. had slurpees they all had hostess pies and one and all we offered this toast to the groom and his new bride it's a marriage of convenience it's a marriage made in heaven billy 
works at the Cumberland Farms in Heather at the 7-Eleven. It's a marriage of convenience. It's a marriage made in heaven. Billy works at the Cumberland Farms in Heather at the 7-Eleven.